you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less where we celebrate, decorate and enjoy everyday life for less. So in today's video, you guys have been asking about, you know, how I host a client consultation and we're going to be doing exactly that in today's video. So first things first, you want to make sure that when you arrive at your client consultation that you are prepared you have your wedding planner you have your client consultation form if you guys are looking for that it is in my etsy shop i will leave a link down below but we're going to go through it today together as well and then you want to make sure you arrive before your client so that you're prepared for them when they get there so let's get started Okay, you guys, so the next thing is that you always want to meet your client near the venue or at the venue that the event is going to be held at. Preferably, if you can meet them at the venue, meet them at the venue. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to meet at a hotel where they're going to have... Um, their wedding and we're going to do something different i've done several events here at this hotel i've done a baby shower i've done a wedding i've done birthday parties and graduations but i want to do something outdoors this time so let's go check out the outdoor area Okay, so we are outside, and this is my beautiful bride, Adelie. Say hi, Adelie. Hi, everyone. So Adelie is marrying a past baby of mine. He's behind the camera, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we're gonna get, like the outside of this hotel looks, okay. We, we don't have to say it, right? But on wedding day, you guys gonna, I want you guys to see the before so that you can see what it's really gonna look like after the wedding. All right, so the first thing you want to do, you know, once you arrive on the venue, you wanna ask your bride and your groom exactly what they you know what their vision is for the day because it's you really want to you know kind of grab hold to what their visions are and bring those visions into fruition so that is what we're going to do now okay so this is travis say hi travis hey everyone and this is adelie hello again so um what is kind of your vision for this area uh she about to tell you so, okay so, <laughs> so you'll walk in the door then of course i envision a tent and what we'll do, we'll put the tent, you know, kind of center into the into the yard, and then, you know, gonna drab to fab. We're gonna cover the back wall with the tent, and it's gonna have this beautiful double hexagon arch, leading down with arched white chairs, and then of course the aisle runner, and then we're gonna have lights in the tent, have a nice beautiful chandelier, draping covering the poles, just lightening up the space a little bit. Okay, so now that we have the vision for the outside with the tent, um, we're going to go on, on the inside and we're kind of gonna, I don't know, I, I don't know if I wanna do like a little mini tunnel out here just to even Ooh, lead to that area, like two piping drapes, but it's all gonna depend on the weather. Mm -hmm. Like when you're doing outdoor weddings, you have to be very cognizant of the weather. That's why I like for an outdoor section to be adjacent to a real building, just in case the weather doesn't permit. But we're believing by faith it's gonna be a beautiful day, like just as beautiful as this day that we're doing the venue visit. So I think like an archway coming this way out just to establish it all the way to the tent would be really nice, really nice. to the end of the sidewalk. And then I may even get like a custom runner like this way leads to love. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so leading into the ballroom, which is this way, um, this is what we're gonna kind of talk about. And have some lights and things like that to kind of fulfill Adelie's visions in terms of lights. Like she really loves lights. And this is the actual ballroom. This is the before of the ballroom. I'll come up with the design for that space. All right, and so now we're going to kind of, hey, hey Emily, we're gonna do some chatting around, you know, this entire wedding process. 
So the wedding, May the 8th, we have these two sides of the ballroom. Mm -hmm. um, we're expecting 80 guests. So 100 max. 100 max. So we're gonna do ten. We're gonna do ten tables of eight, but if we have more, we can just put. What's the max these tables? They're one twenty. So they the max can they can nine. hold is eight. You can fit nine, but it's very cramped. Oh, we don't want it cramped though. This is seven right now. Okay, but some people may feel more comfortable eating outside. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though most people by the time the wedding will occur will have been vaccinated, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Um, but. We still have that outside. Do we have an idea on when the outside furniture is going to be? I'm it's sure out there, but we, yeah, but it's not yeah, up yet. Um, it's not up yet. It should be coming up soon. We're finishing the rooms right now. Okay. So. Do you think it'll be ready by the wedding? Hopefully, it should be. Okay. Um, I'll get on them to make sure we get that out. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that and because that outdoor area could definitely be additional overflow. seating and overflow, especially if people aren't comfortable like being in a tight being space. in a tight space. Yeah. And that will give them that option. Mm -hmm. Then we also have all this other space up there right. as well. So, right. um, the other thing I think Adelie needed to confirm with you was like the rooms, right? The, the suites numbers. for the groomsmen and then mm -hmm. the girls. Yes. To get ready. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're not tearing this apart yet because this is a new process that they're supposed to start the lobby but I think this is actually going to start late in the summer okay okay, so, okay so. good <laughs> you can't hurt all the well, <laughs> <laughs> well see that's you why it's important to know these things so. yeah you know we're in a when you're I mean we're in the middle of a pandemic and renovations mm -hmm. you know so here, there are a lot of things off. that we need to talk about so yeah mm -hmm. um please confirm that yeah. for me because if that's the case, then we may need to do some other cosmetic things to kind of make things look right nice. Now you said ten tables with eight chairs at a table. We, but you don't need. We're going to bring in chairs. Oh, that's right. You don't need any chairs. All we need is um, ten round, round tables. tables, and then I will send you the layout of where they're supposed to go. Okay. Easy. That works. Isn't that right, Emily? I, I yep, look, yep. She's all over. It. <laughs> and then we'll just do like her. Um, cake and. Mm -hmm. Do you want to face this way, Adelie, or this way? Uh, for our head table. Mm -hmm. Dependent on how you put the tables, I'm not sure. Okay. Are you going to be up on a stage? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, if you put her in the center of the room, whatever door somebody walks through. We'll see her. We'll see her. Well, yeah, I was yeah. thinking about that, but then I like all these lights, right? Mm -hmm. So if I face her that way. Mm -hmm. In pictures, I'll get all four chandeliers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then just we can close that and one close off, that door. And they off. only come in through one door. I know I'm thinking about, but you know, like I want them to see the grandeur mm -hmm. of yes. the space, right? And if I put her this way, I'm only going to get one chandelier. Yeah. yeah, and the exit signs. And the exit sign. Yeah, absolutely. But here, I don't have the exit sign. Mm -hmm. I think about the photos. No, you won't see it. Huh? Remember, it'd be uh, draped off. You won't see it. What, the exit sign? Yeah. It's not going to be able to go that high. Uh -uh. It'll, you don't think so? it'll go. You had, them, you had everything blocked last that Christmas one. I know, but her uncle's doing the draping. Okay. Oh. So it's a different vendor. Hopefully then, he can do that. Yeah. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay. Yeah, my little <laughs> logo at the top. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just wanted to make sure that all your information is correct. So, Adelie Burnett. Mm -hmm. and your phone number nothing's yeah. changed there mm -hmm. um alternate phone number who's is that travis's number yes okay awesome all right and email address is that good yes ma'am okay mailing address yeah. now is this going to be your address after the wedding yes okay awesome because that's always good to know right yeah. so right. um because i like to send things to my clients throughout the year like if they buy a new house or if they have a baby i like to make sure i have the most current event okay. um address on file in the event that I need to send something. All right, May day, uh, the date of your event is May the 8th and mm -hmm. at 6.30 p.m., yes. awesome. And here at the Clarion Inn. And then if something happens in the case of inclement weather, we'll just move everything in. Mm -hmm. So I'll just leave this open, one part open for an aisle okay. in, in the design. That'd be perfect. Okay. Um, and the theme, what would you say the theme would be? Oh, I was thinking about that, I don't know. Because it's more elegant, so it would be, 
I don't know. What would you say? I don't know. I was thinking. What do you think? What do you think? This is not my alley. I'm just, <laughs> I just don't want Really? Uh -huh. Come on now. For real. I'm just here for moral support. Okay, we'll think about it. Colors are blush and navy. Yes. Um, all the centerpieces are going to be floral. We need lights and candles for some of the centerpieces. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oops. That's completely up to you. Okay. I think the venue style, I would say, would be more traditional. It's more of a traditional venue. It's not yeah. modern or eclectic or rustic. industrial, rustic. Right. No balloons. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> um, and we will have floral centerpieces. We'll think about the theme. Okay. The catering is going to be buffet mm -hmm. style. Now, in terms of COVID, do we have things they'll, in place? They'll for... be serving. Okay. So they they'll go through serving, the line, but, but they'll they will... serve the food for their plate. Perfect. Yeah. And it's going to be formal. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're going to have round tables for guests and then rectangular tables for you guys. Right. Sweetheart table. Did you guys want the traditional yeah, chairs or you want the throne chairs? Whatever your vision for that t table is. What do you want? We can do throne chairs. I'm cool with that. Okay. okay. It always looks good. Oh, yeah. The gold ones are what we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, the gold throne yeah. chairs. Okay. And we're looking at 100 guests. Mm -hmm. And right now we'll do eight tables inside. For no, ten tables. Ten, ten tables. Ten, eight eight yeah. chairs. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, that's right. That's why we go through this. Make sure we that's exactly there. right. <laughs> All right. And the budget it will, it's in HoneyBook. We'll talk about that later. Okay. And um, I think that is all. We just need to follow back up on the lobby area making sure it's not going to be destroyed and demolished hopefully not. leading into the wedding <laughs> that'd be rough. like wouldn't that be that'd, that'd be, be awful i'd be awful. a little bit <laughs> <laughs> and then just making sure they put that patio furniture up on right. the outside so do you guys have any other questions for me do you mm -mm. i'm good you good mm -hmm. trust me mm -hmm. oh yeah Hundred <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Last question: Do you want the head table um, tablecloth to be blush or navy blue? Because I have a blush bling tablecloth and I have a navy blue bling tablecloth. Or do you want like yours to be blush and the bridal party their dresses is bl their blush? They're blush. So what if we did like blush on your table and then there is navy blue with that'd the be, blush dress that'd be cute yeah. that's dope. okay yeah that'd be good everything's dope to you exactly <laughs> okay <laughs> all right agree. okay so you guys this wraps up our client consultation i hope you guys learned learned a ton from today's video now i've been around these guys since forever like they're my kids they're like a part of my family we've been with each other this entire COVID time so that's why we have masks but we're not wearing them but listen if you they're not your family like protect yourself be safe okay all right so i will see you guys at the next video everything you need will be down in the description box below and until next time it's melanie with living luxuriously for less one two three y'all remember the ending what do i say at the end of every video i don't know oh lord <laughs> what is it cheers oh, yeah. i don't watch the video at the very end I have to stop it one time. You point. suck. <laughs> I'm being honest. You're so bad. <laughs> All right, let's do it for the camera. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Cheers. Cheers.